This is my first time ever skating at an ODR. I started learning how to play hockey this past summer after moving here to Colorado. And what a crazy experience. Being from Florida, just getting out there was an adventure. We quickly went from sunshine to this. Which I'm not gonna lie was kinda scary, but also incredible. After almost two hours of driving, we arrived in Keystone. Now to find parking and meet up with the guys. It's a little snowier than I thought it was gonna be. I forgot washroom fluid. Oh no. <laughs> oh shoot. We are out here. It's cold. <laughs> I didn't bring the proper shoes for this. We found some free parking across the street and this cool tunnel that runs under the road and spits you out right in front of the lake. Now to get geared up and shout out to the Keystone Adventure Center for letting us film out here and skate for free. All right, first few uh, steps on there. <laughs> the pathway leading up was a little slippery. Oh my God. How bad would that have been if I wiped out before even touching the right, ice? Here we are at the ODR Keystone Adventure Center. This is sick, man. Check this out. Look at this view. Some snow starting to come down over on the other side. Let's set up a little tripod here. First, I filmed a few short form videos that hopefully you've already seen. Meanwhile, the other guys were getting the ring shoveled and ready to play on. Got the GoPro on the head here. Gonna play some uh, 2v2. Let's get it. Now the ice out here definitely took some getting used to. And skill wise, I was in way over my head. But here we go. We're playing post and first one to hit all three wins the game. How do I hold the stick for a face off? Close to the blade is good. And I'm flipping this way. Yeah. And I'm, sh I'm rowboating this guy. Yeah. Now I thought oh, yeah. for sure I would be the first one to end oh. up on the ground. And while I totally missed it, oh. this cam didn't. Oh, you wipe out? It's like what, we playing this though? Okay. We agreed that whoever was closest could dig it out and play it from there, which almost resulted in the first point. Oh. But it wasn't in the air, so I guess it wouldn't have counted anyways. And we'll call my first few shots a warm-up, because they were not looking good. Oh, and when I said I was outmatched earlier, here's what I meant. That was pretty sick, and now I'm totally in the way, so I tried to get to the middle, and he hit me with a nice pass just for me to do that. Now, I've been getting a lot more ice time recently, and one thing I've really been trying to learn is the hockey style. And while I haven't figured it out just yet, oh, no. I did make some progress out here. No one scored for the first few minutes. That is, until now. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I wish I could say the first point was my Michigan, but it wasn't. Instead, it was this shot that hit the left post. There it is. There it is. Nice. Now we're up 1-0, and we can't hit that left post again. I saw some space here and chose to take it, but my touches weren't the best. And on the very next possession, they tied it up, hitting the crossbar. Nice. That puck went absolutely flying. I don't think we ever found it either. While the ice wasn't the best out here, it was still just such an amazing feeling. Being outside, surrounded by the mountains, playing hockey with friends while out on the middle of a lake. Like, that's crazy. Now, that shot went below the bar, but this one didn't. Nice. And now all we've got to do to win is hit that right post. And at this point, we're playing for the clips. I almost lost control of that, so I dished it over to Landon, and he nearly ended the game with some crazy moves. Just watch this. Oh. Imagine, that would have been nuts. Now, I grew up playing soccer, and the most humiliating thing you can do to someone is meg them, which almost happened to me there. But I'm not about to get humiliated in my own video. And let's say somehow I did get megged, if that's even what you guys call it. I definitely would have... Oh, he got me. Nah, he did me dirty there. No way I'm editing that out. They gave me a free lane here, and I've got a chance to end the game if I could manage to hit the right post. Uh, and what I couldn't do, they could. Tying the game at 2-2. Two -two. Nice. Now, we both need one point here. They need the left post, and we need the right. And for a second, I thought we had it right here. Oh. But in fact, it was the stick that hit the post, so the game's still going. Go ahead. <laughs> now you couldn't see it, but I was standing there with my legs spread as wide as possible. If you couldn't tell by now, these two guys in black are gross. They both played professional hockey, and it was pretty cool to watch them battle it out. But my more even matchup was this one. Even though Zach is still a lot better than me. Get out of here, bro. That weak stuff right there. I'm gonna show you how it's done. Sometimes I gotta talk some smack just to build up my own confidence. But it didn't work this time. I lied, I lied. Now we had a few more chances to win the game, and I definitely should have on this play. 
The pass was perfect, but my backhand still needs some work. I recognized I had some time though, so I brought it back into the middle for a second shot. And on their next possession, I got done dirty again, but thankfully that shot was just below the bar. Alrighty, here is the game winning clip. Now I accidentally gave Zach a nice shove here. Oh, shoot. And I'm glad he knows how to stop because I probably would have went face first into the boards. I intercepted their pass, dished it over to Landon, who sent it right back to me. And then I tried to copy that between the legs move that I kept seeing him do, which kind of worked, but not the cleanest. And here we go. Let's wrap this up. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.